Sidekicks on Sports Nightly is presented by Frogtown Johnny's, Toledo's number one sports bar and grill since 1992. Back like they never left. High school soccer, sidekicks, and our friends Francis Stevens and Chris Black. Good to see you guys, and good to see some of the best teams and players in our area coming back. What are you guys excited about? Oh, man. Well, we're here. Obviously, school started for a lot of people this week, and, you know, maybe some last week as well, too. But it's been a pretty exciting start to the season, obviously. Friday night football down at Perrysburg. Obviously, this guy right next to me got his first win at Northview on Friday. So he's now coached at both Northview and Southview in his coaching career. I think this is going to be the last stop because, you know, he can't really afford to go anywhere else. And he's not going to go anywhere else because he's going to win so much that they're not going to want him to leave, right? Hey, this is the first time I've gotten blown out in my first game. I think we lost 11-1 to 1 at, uh, with – no, that wasn't first. That was 7-0 to Columbus to Sales at St. <laughs> Ursula. It was like 8-0 to a Worthington Kilbourne when I was back at Savannah Southview. Uh, so, no, we'll, we'll take that. No, but it's, it's been a lot of fun. Big test tomorrow with uh, St. John's coming in town. First game at Cat Stadium. Uh, hearing it first, if you haven't heard, it is open for business tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of what we've seen so far. But let's look ahead a little bit. Pick a couple teams and a couple players that we need to keep an eye on. Let's start with you, Francis. Which team or teams are you most excited about here? Well, obviously, on the girls' side, is going to be Perrysburg. You know, I had a chance to watch them play last Friday night against uh, a really good Notre Dame team. And the relentlessness they, that they play with, and, and really, to be fair, I think they might be a, a step better than they were last year. You know, they have three different juniors with two goals apiece. Obviously, Camille Francis who was a district player of the year last year, NOL player of the year, All-American, first team All-Ohio. Her accolades are very long. Uh, Emma Ogdahl had two goals as well, two scored two great goals to get a start. And then Sophie Mitchell, a name that we didn't really feel, hear a lot last year. And then Eliza Berg coming off the bench. I think this Perrysburg side is very, very deep as they go forward. The question I'm going to have for them is this. When they run into a team that has some great technical ability and what can they do? Can they put the ball on the deck? Can they move it? Can they spread teams out? Can they get in behind? They'll, they'll have no issue getting behind because they have a lot of pace and size. But I, don't, I think this team is really good, can make it really run at it. On the boys' side, probably say, well, Anthony Wayne had a big win last night against uh, Perrysburg and started out 1-0. So Coach Billings really trying to bounce back with a really young group. We've gotten to see that Perrysburg-Anthony Wayne battle, boys and girls, twice this week and it's lived up to that billing Chris yeah and the cool thing with that too is they're gonna play again so you got two shots in LL if, whether you like it or don't like it, I guess that's your call but they get two shots now the disappointing thing is no longer three shots Perry's were going to <laughs> division one so many coaches when their second year how has their program changed north you um, on the girls side with Al Newbold in the second year getting two uh, good good really good shout out wins uh, for his program how have they changed have they gotten comfortable with the coaching staff he's not just just not the only one um, St. Ursula looks to be rolling with a, with a big win for uh, Scott Reed at St. Ursula over Mike Garvey in his first year at Finley. Uh, old time roommates from back in the day. Can the speed and pace of St. Ursula, what can they do against Perrysburg and Anthony Wayne? The one thing that seems like it never changes around here, you always have great individual talent as well. So fill in the blank here. If you don't know blank yet, you should. Who is that player for you? If you don't know who Ava Willis is at Sylvania South, she is a phenomenal goalkeeper uh, for the Lady Cougars. I mean, obviously, they're a very, very, very young program. Not a lot of numbers, but she's fantastic. I mean, she does a really, really good job. Did a great job her freshman year when they got to a district semifinal. I think uh, Ava Willis is definitely a player that we can really see what she can do this year. And I'm going to cheat a little bit <laughs> because I just called the game Monday, but it was fun to see Harper Bridie, who we've seen over the years. Oh, yeah. um, she's at Savannah Northview. They opened up play really, really nicely, played the wing so well, and gave her a lot of space. She had two phenomenal shots in that game. One, she got a goal. As her and her, all of her teammates get better and better, she's going to be even more and more dangerous. We've got our top talent here all season <laughs> long, and the best is yet to come. Francis Stevens, Chris Black, good to see you guys again.